Hello, this is Roy with the Love Chat, and today's topic is, should I be dating? Now, this is video number 233. If you have a question you'd like for me to consider featuring on the Love Chat, please write it in a comment below. And if you enjoy my videos, I'd be so very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. The discount coupon for coaching is still active. All you need to do if you want coaching and a discount on it is head to my website, thelovechat.net slash coaching, and use code TLC. 2020. Now then, let's talk about if you should be dating. This is mostly for people who have exited a serious relationship, spent some time focusing on themselves, and maybe you're still wanting your ex back, but you think, hey, I can't stand still forever. And so you're thinking about dipping, you know, your little pinky toe into the water and seeing if this is right for you. This video will help clear up some of the common questions and confusions that we have because we're not always 100% sure if we're ready, and I hope that this is helpful for you guys. And what I've found to be the main sort of uh, gatekeeper of if we're ready to date is simply this. I can go out and enjoy my time and not do any future prospecting, and I'll explain what that is in a second, and I can think and focus fully on the situation with this new person, this new date, and then go home, and then thoughts of my ex come. I think if you're at that point where you aren't thinking of your ex, or at least barely thinking of your ex while you're out on a date, I think you're ready to do some casual dating. Now, let me be clear. If a breakup has been within three and a half, four months, you should not be looking for serious dating unless you have done some major personal work and you are really, truly feeling over it. And maybe over it is the wrong word to use. Maybe feeling good about your healing process, right? You're in it, you trust yourself to continue the self-work, the gym, the counselor, all that, and you're feeling good enough to say, hey, I'd like to get up and go out, have a nice time, and just have it be a nice time. But what some people do after a breakup, and they are now beginning to date again, is they do, oh, but I need to compare every single thing about this person to every single thing about my ex, and here's all the different reasons why they don't line up. I don't personally believe that you need to be 100% healed over your last breakup to begin dating again in a new relationship that is casual. And that's ultimately the caveat that I say. I am not suggesting you go and the second you feel kind of sort of okay, jump into a serious relationship. That is not what I'm saying to do. What I am saying is that if you've really done the personal work, and you've really spent this time learning the damn lesson from the breakup, and your part in it, and what can I do to make myself a better human being and a more attractive human being, and even I like me more, okay, well now, reward yourself even further. Go on a casual date. Just have fun. Don't think about the future. Just enjoy your time with another person. And if things go well, and if they ask you out again, or you ask them out again, and they say sure, well then it would be great, because you can go and continue to explore. And knowing that you love yourself means you have boundaries now. And part of that means you tell everybody around you, who will be even kind of romantically involved with you, look, Here's where I'm at. I'm three and a half months, I'm five months, whatever, out of a breakup, and I'm doing pretty well, but I'm going to take it really slow. That way I make sure that I stay good, you stay good, nobody in the situation gets hurt, and I might even date a couple other people just to put my hand in many different soups and see how it goes. The best thing you can do with yourself and the others in your life is have complete honesty. Ultimately, you know yourself better than anyone else and better than anyone else ever really can. And so it's up to you to tell everybody in your orbit, look, here's where I'm at, here is what I'm ready for, and here's what I'm cool with and not cool with. And if something changes, I reserve the right to change the conditions of whatever it is that we're doing, because I'm keeping you in the know at all times, complete honesty, and most people aren't used to that these days. Most people are used to the game playing, and... Somebody gets hurt because someone else wasn't honest, or both people weren't honest, or both people get hurt. So I guess my pitch for this whole thing is, know where you're at, 
know what your strengths and your weaknesses are. And if you're unsure, that's a good opportunity for self-reflection, for exploration, for a journal, for counseling, and say, hey, what's going on here? Or am I just not ready? And if I'm not ready, that's okay, because one day I will be, and what's the rush? So I guess don't be too hard on yourselves, and don't prevent yourselves from dating if you know that it's probably time to, because, and and this isn't me saying, you know, go find a date, you need a partner. Of course not. But it is saying, hey, just because you went through a breakup doesn't mean you're suddenly supposed to be scared of future relationships, right? That's why you're doing all this personal work, so that it doesn't become this big thing. And it will if you let it, which is one of the reasons it's time. If you're ready in your particular situation, it's time to go Just on a date. Get some mojo back. Remember that people find you attractive because you are attractive and you're fun. And by not dating, you're robbing other people of you. And I think that's the best way to look at it. If you're not ready, you know it. And if you're not ready, don't guilt yourself. But if you know deep down, because some of you know this and I've spoken to a lot of you. If you know this deep down, I'm ready, I'm just scared. All right, well, that's different. That's not, I'm going to have a horrible time. That is, I'm afraid. So fine, but call it that. Don't masquerade it as something different. One of my favorite Jordan Peterson slash Carl Jung quotes is, you don't get the gold without fighting the dragon. And this, my friends, is no different. So go have fun. And above all things, be good to yourself. That's all I had for today. If you found my video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Please leave a comment below and tell me what topics you want me to cover in the future. Additionally, if you'd like extra videos, private live streams with me, and giveaways of my best-selling book on Amazon, until next time, just visit my Patreon. Patreon.com slash TheLoveChat Until next time.